Local woman considers herself certainly lucky to be alive this morning. She has survived two, two potentially life-threatening giant brain aneurysms. And she can thank certainly the doctors at Baptist Health using new technology. It's called the Pipeline Flex Embolization Device that minimally invasive procedure is basically designed to help treat large aneurysms. This is a picture of how it's used, and we're going to find out how it works. First joining me now is Rhonda Baker. She's the patient, and Dr. Ricardo Hanel, who is the director of the Baptist Neurological Institute with more on this procedure. Good morning to you, Doc. Good it's morning. always good to see you. Good morning. Um, so Rhonda, let's start with you first of all. You did have, uh, because sometimes aneurysms can occur without any symptoms, but you did have a symptom, yes. but you did not associate it, obviously, with a brain aneurysm. No. What happened? I started having problems with my vision. And so when I went to my primary care doctor, I let her know that I was having problems with my vision. So she said, well, I'm going to schedule you to have an MRI, which I did. And I brought the disc back to her. So she said, you need to come into the office because the MRI is showing where you had two aneurysms. So then she said, well, I'm going to refer you to a neurologist, which I went to Dr. Hannah. What was your reaction to hear that, though? Because, you know, you hear about brain, brain aneurysms bursting, mm -hmm. and you have no time. No. Well, I just thought, so I said, just tell me what I need to do. And so I got an appointment with Dr. Hannah, and he took it from there. So the, the vision, because I see that you're wearing the glasses. glasses. So mm -hmm. were you wearing glasses at the time? No, where then you, no I wasn't you aware weren't. Of it. No, ma'am. So was the vi was it blurry all the time or just in the morning just at night? Sometimes, sometimes, huh. like when I get up in the morning, it will be blurry, and uh, then it'll clear up later, and then it might get blurry again. So wow, is this typical then, Doc? Uh, f uh, first, thanks for thanks for having us Always here. Always good to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's a great time of the year to be thankful for great it things is. like what happened to Miss Baker. Uh, uh, Miss Baker's aneurysm was so big that it was putting pressure on the nerve for the left eye. So that's why she was having trouble with the vision. It was a massive size of an aneurysm, bigger than an inch in size. That's what we call a giant aneurysm, was putting pressure on that nerve, and that's why she was having the symptoms. So we see that. Uh, it's not uncommon to see that. What other symptoms are there? And I know we're talking about very large aneurysms, but it, and, and obviously the symptoms are, would be different for a large aneurysm as, a sm as opposed to a small one? Yes, correct. Large aneurysms, to begin with, they're much more prone for bleeding. The bigger the aneurysm, the more prone for bleeding. So she's very lucky that not, neither bled uh, while not knowing she had the aneurysms. Uh, but the bigger aneurysms can put pressure on the surrounding brain structures, the nerve for the eye, can put pressure on a structure called the brain stem and can give you people dizziness, trouble with the walking, shuffling, uh, as we call, and so forth and so on. So the larger the aneurysm, the more likely to have this pressure-related type of symptoms. And now they also can be a headache. Have that. And now, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but we were talking about the photo, in fact, that you've sent in and showed us how, how does this work then? Because you think about going into the brain and the aneurysm, I mean, obviously you have to be extremely careful, but is this a fairly new device then that's used? Yeah, the pipeline flex is an evolution of a, a old technology, 2011, so talking old is five years old. Uh, the pipeline flex is an evolution of that that made easier to use this tool that is kind of a screen that would change the flow on the vessel and eventually cure the aneurysm. And that is, is because you're diverting the flow of the blood elsewhere so that it doesn't burst and then you're, you're, are you able to cut that part out or it just mends on its own? No, it stays there and heals. So that mm. once you redirect the flow, the inner lining of the blood vessel will cover the little mesh that you see there on the screen that you saw a second ago. And once you cover that mesh, the blood flow cannot get inside anymore and the aneurysm is healed. And, Doc, just, just finally also, um, I, I know that uh, we, we both know uh, Sofia Gutierrez, a young girl who died of an aneurysm, and she is near and dear to our yes. heart. I know her mother probably is watching this morning, as she does every morning. The reality is, is aneurysms can happen in, in, rarely, though, but do happen in children as well as in adults. Is there something that the community should know? Because I was surprised when I saw the statistic, one out of 50. Yes. And, and uh, uh, the statistics on American Heart, one in 50, is, it's uh, optimistic. It actually could be higher than that. Six to 12 million people in the United States walk around with brain aneurysm. So stay away from cigarettes. Cigarettes not only gives you aneurysm, they also make aneurysm more prone for bleeding. And one thing that we've been talking a lot uh, uh, around is that if you have somebody in the family, Miss Rhonda with her family, uh, a history, uh, you've got to be aware that an aneurysm can happen in families, and once you find out before it bleeds, Miss Rhonda is living well, 
after surgery for that. It can be fixed and uh, the treatment never been so good that is in 2016. Don't ignore the symptoms, right? Oh, no. Don't ignore Don't the symptoms. That's They're it. not going to go away. That's They're there it. for a reason. Thank you. I'm yes. glad that you're doing well. You yes. look fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing your story Thank with you. us. I do appreciate it. Okay. Doc, always good to see you. Thank you. Uh, so we will post this entire interview, by the way, later this morning on the Morning Show page of newsforjax.com. We'll